Hi, Dave Hurwitz at ClassicsToday.com here, bringing you this thing here. It's a box, and the box says, this is Leonard Bernstein, his greatest recordings. I love it when they do things like this. I mean, they're just asking for it, aren't they? It's, we're just going to have so much fun with this. 16 discs, and we're going to go through each one of them and see whether or not they know what they're talking about. So maybe they will, and maybe they won't. You ready? First, The Rite of Spring. No question about it. One of Bernstein's greatest recordings, and one of the greatest recordings of The Rite of Spring. It's exciting as hell. Really fabulous, especially the sacrificial dance. It just piles up like a train wreck on the, you know. It's, 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 it's amazing. It's just amazing. Okay, fine. Next, Nielsen Symphony Number no. 3. Definitely I, one of his most important recordings. It was it's a, it's a performance that's actually still talked about in Denmark. I mean, I've been there. I can tell you. It was really Bernstein playing Nielsen that put Nielsen on the international map and that gave the the Danes, it seems, a, a sense of pride in what you know, someone who had been purely a local composer until then. So that was a big deal. It was a big deal. It meant a lot in Denmark and it meant a lot internationally and it's a wonderful performance. Now, Mozart concertos 15 and 17 with Bernstein on the piano. They're good. Eh. Next. Ah, Mahler Symphony No. 3, Bernstein, New York Philharmonic. Unquestionably one of his great recordings. No two ways about it. I mean, the third was this big, weird, ungainly mess of a symphony that no one had ever really taken seriously until Bernstein recorded it. In fact, I don't even think there were any really decent recordings of it until Bernstein recorded, recorded it. There were a couple earlier ones, but they weren't very good. So this is definitely one of the great ones. Uh, Fisher D. Scowl with Leonard Bernstein at the piano and Mahler songs. I mean, Bernstein and Mahler is great, but this, I, I, I it never did it for me. I mean, I guess it's debatable. I don't know. Uh, Haydn, Symphonies 82 and 83, definitely among the, Ber the great Bernstein recordings, definitely. His Haydn was extraordinary and his Paris symphonies represent the best of his Haydn, plain and simple. Okay, oh, Rhapsody in Blue and an American in Paris. Okay, an American in Paris, definitely very good. The Rhapsody, not. Bernstein played it, it was very severely cut. The tempi were always sort of like lethargic and um, I don't know. It just never, never catches fire for me. It was acclaimed in its day, but I don't know who was really that interested. Ah, the New World Symphony, Dvorak. Definitely one of the great recordings. Possibly the best of the piece. I may be talking about this later in another video um, from Dvorak's house on 17th Street, I think it was, in Manhattan, uh, somewhere around there. Gramercy Park, I'm going to go over there and maybe chat about Bernstein's New World Symphony. Okay, Copland. Bernstein was absolutely a great Copland conductor. Copland thought so. Uh, definitely one of his greatest recordings. Candide. Candide, the musical. Um, actually, Bernstein isn't even conducting this, and so I sort of wonder why it's here. It doesn't make any sense to me. West Side Story. Um, and again, Bernstein's not conducting. Uh, the music is great. It's important. It's wonderful. These are the original Broadway cast recordings, but they're not Bernstein's greatest recordings. They're great recordings of Bernstein, which is a little bit different. Uh, the Age of Anxiety with Lucas Foss. This was the original mono recording um, of the unrevised version. And I mean, while it's certainly nice to have, is it one of Bernstein's greatest recordings? No, no way. No way. Not, not even close. Uh, the Emperor Concerto with Rudolf Serkin. Maybe one of Serkin's. Next. Uh, Bernstein conducts Beethoven overtures. I mean, who are they kidding? I mean, they're good. They're exciting. I mean, it's got the consecration of the house, which is like one of my favorites. But no, 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 no. And finally, the Eroica. Just because. All right, so there you have it. Pretty good selection on the whole. Out of 16, maybe 10 are really some of Bernstein's greatest recordings. It's not terrible. I can recommend this set if you don't have Bernstein and you want to get a good collection of mostly very good Bernstein. But, you know, let's not kid ourselves. 
it's not uniformly fine. And uh, you may be, you'd be just as happy getting some of those titles individually rather than getting stuck with a box, um, a third of which you probably aren't interested in at all. So thank you and keep on listening, always listening. Bye-bye.